Hey guys, welcome back to 9to5Gamers and today we're doing our weekend review. So don't forget to like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe and check out our memberships for $3 a month. You can get early access to videos, exclusive content, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And if you subscribe and become a member rather, um, now you get access to all of the tiers uh, for the rest of this year. And then after this year, we'll probably do uh, some more of that tier system stuff. So anyways, without further ado, let's review the game Raw by Rainer Knizzi. I haven't played the original, so I can't do a comparison. There are videos out there that compare the two together. Um, but I always think newer is better. That isn't always true. So know that right off the bat. But I'm assuming that this is better because why would they make a, a worse version? You know what I mean? Um, but... I was able to play Raw, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this game after uh, playing it quite a bit. Um, so let's talk about it. First of all, first thing as always is setup and storage. Um, this is an annoying storage thing. Now I have the retail version, and when you look inside the retail version, everything barely fits in here. Like the only way is to really flatten out the tiles and make sure that they're they're spaced out well but that bag just doesn't have a ton of space and when you put the box back on this is flat so i was able to close it completely but most of the time this thing is usually doing one of these deals where it's like this um but if you can get it just right it will flatten and go to the way that it's supposed to but for storage wise it barely fits inside this retail box. I even tell people like the retail version is nice, but if you can find the deluxe one, go for the deluxe one because honestly, it's probably better. Um, but um, as far as the storage goes, it's okay. Um, it's fine for what it is. And then the um, uh, setup, setup is fine. Everything goes in the, t all the tiles go inside of the bag. So you don't ever have to set that up. That's already in there. You give um, a little panel out to everybody. So setup is relatively quick. So honestly, I'm giving this a 1.5 minus 0.5, just because sometimes this box doesn't fit properly, but right now it does. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, but it's, it's kind of a hassle to try to do that each time. Um, but really cool uh, thing. Now let's talk about learning to teach. Um, learning the game is okay. It's it's pretty good. It's not like the most difficult game to learn. I think as always watching people play it is going to help you with like the turn order and how things uh, work. The instruction booklet was relatively clear, but it wasn't perfect. Um, and um, teaching the game is pretty easy. Um, even though like um, for me, I've taught the game and I've played it at... Um, three, four, five players. Um, I think playing at the maximum player count is usually pretty good, but I think three or four is where it plays best. Five is fine. It's just there's a lot of times where stuff is happening, and by the time this thing gets back to around to you, but um, but yeah, it, it wasn't hard to learn. So that's another 1.5 for that. Artwork, visuals, components. Um, this game is beautiful and everything has like a linen finish even the cardboard has like a linen finish to it And everything feels like papyrus, which I think is really really cool I even think the the, the, the rule book is feels like it's made out of papyrus like it, it, it they went Heavy linen finish on that rule book um, and I made the mistake of putting the rule book on top of the game like on the top of it instead of on the bottom flat with things on top to flatten it out and it got all dented and creased and I literally can't get those dents and creases out, out of the rule book. So you want to take care of that rule book because that linen finish and it's very thin paper but artwork, visuals, everything on this game I give it a 2 because it is really nice and the component quality is great. Um, cardboard tiles starting to get a little bit scratched, but that happens with all cardboard materials. That's why I highly recommend getting the deluxe version because you'll get plastic tiles, and the plastic tiles are going to be a lot better than the um, than the cardboard ones. But the cardboard ones are really nice cardboard, so you're getting a, a heck of a deal. You got that big chunky uh, Faro uh, thing in there. I'm going to go ahead and take that out so you guys can get a look at it. I don't know why I keep it in the bag. I don't even need to put it in there, but this thing is gorgeous. Look at this guy. Oh, sorry. Hold on. It's like focusing in on me. Look at that. Look at how chunky this thing is, man. That is a chunky boy. So this is the raw statue that you get with the game. Every copy comes with that. Um, and then also the bidding tiles are really, really nice. So you guys can get an idea of what those look like. These are the auction tiles. And then on the back side, it is blank. And then 
has a number on this side, which these are really nice, thick, same material, like that wood, and they have like a nice clickety-clack to them, which I love. Um, but yeah, component quality is fantastic. I'm giving it a two for visual components, artwork, and all that good stuff. I give that a two. Now, um, I did talk about the, um, the tiles, so that way you guys can see some of them. These are what the tiles look like. They do have that really uh, nice linen finish to them. And, like you can feel the texture on them and you can kind of see it through the screen. Um, and then they all have the same back. Um, but they all just belong in the, in the back, uh, in the bag, just like this. And then there's the uh, raw invocation. But yeah, like I said, these things uh, after a while are gonna start to, to, to show some signs of wear and tear. But for right now, mine's is a relatively new copy. And then this is the bag where all the tiles go into, and that's a really nice print. Only thing I don't like is that the bag doesn't have like a, uh, the round bottom, the flat bottom. With the flat bottom, this thing will sit really nice, but for the most part, you pass it and it can like tip over and stuff, depending the how the contents of the bag have shifted over time. And then um, these are the player boards, which are beautiful, like the artwork. Dude, everything in this game is great. If these were dual layer and had that spot for that, that would be awesome. But honestly, I don't think this would even fit dual layer. I think it's just fine just the way it is. It doesn't even need dual layer, to be honest. Um, but it looks good, man. I think everything in this game was really well produced. That's why it gets a two out of two, just so you guys can see some of the components that come with it. Now, let's talk about gameplay and mechanics. Raw is just a great, mechanically, is just a great game. Um, because you are doing this auction and you're trying to win tiles and then what happens is there's this raw chunky raw statue which when you want to start the auction you can grab it and say i invoke raw on your turn of course and if you invoke raw then uh you get to uh the person next to you starts the bidding process and then you get last dibs on the bids so you can use this to force somebody to get a bunch of bad tiles or not enough tiles or you can do this so that way you have the last say um, in the bidding process and you don't have to you know you can get away with not having to use maybe your highest bidding so the way that the game works is that everybody gets three of these bidding tiles and so you might get the three the eight and the 15 to start with you always get like one low no one low number one medium number and one higher number like the 14 the 15 the 16 um, depending on the player count depends which of these tiles you use but you always get three and then so you use them to auction so let's say there's not a lot and you're like hey you know what I'm gonna bid three on that maybe you could get a few tiles for three and then when you do that you put your three tile onto the um, the main board and take the, the the one tile off the main board and then so like let's say somebody bids a 15 and says I'm bidding 15 and they win the auction and they win all the tiles that they're bidding on this will go on the the game board and then the next player in the next auction can win the 15 as um, the, um, they can win the 15 because you're auctioning not only on the tiles but also on this that's on the main board so the whole point of the game is just main uh, it's just uh, auctioning and winning tiles and then those tiles depending on which kind of tile it is there's like maybe like six to eight different types of tiles Whoever has like the most of those usually gets a lot of points. There's also um, tiles that have different faces on them. And if you have various faces, you get more points. And then for some of the other ones, you might get different points if you have different faces, some of them for the same face. Um, so yeah, it's just, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a, more of like a Draftosaurus, but you're auctioning the, for the meeples or whatever. But it's a really, really fun game. Um, so mechanically, gameplay wise, it's really cool. Only thing I don't like about this game, one of my gripes is that there are just way too many of these red tiles. So these red tiles, when you, um, you're passing around this bag and people will grab a tile and they'll place the tile out and that becomes a part of the current auction. And so you just keep placing tiles, um, to start auctioning them off. When a red tile is drawn, you the auction starts, and whoever drew it is the one who invoked raw, right? And you get the little chunky statue. Only thing I didn't like about that is there's so many red tiles in the bag that there were times where it was literally like red tile, red tile, red tile, then somebody would do it. And it's like, bro, I, I drew a red tile, and there's not even, we didn't even get any tiles in the thing. It, it could be kind of frustrating. So um, I feel like there were way too many red tiles in the bag, but that's kind of what makes the game move forward and progress. 
I think it's a bit clunky. I don't really enjoy that aspect of it, like pulling the red tiles out of the bag. I feel like there's just way too many in there. Um, but again, I think the game is probably balanced that way on purpose. Um, but yeah, it's it's just kind of weird. And then some of the tiles, uh, the other thing I don't like is... Um, so the other thing that was a little bit finicky and frustrating is this right here. There are water tiles, but there are water tiles that have a two, a, a two on them and that have three waves. And so they could be a bit confusing with the two and the three waves. Um, and I'm not sure how that looks with like the artwork on them. Let me see if I can find another one. Yeah, I feel like the two waves have the little persons on them. Um, but the fact that these look exactly the same except for the little person and the reeds, um, it, it's very confusing because they go on completely different sides of your board. And some of them you keep for the rest of the game and then some of them you throw out. Um, that can be a bit confusing. But gameplay wise, everything else is pretty solid. But there's like minor gripes here and there. So I could see myself giving it another 1.5 for that. And then... Um, as far as the gameplay mechanics go, 1.5, and then the last part is the fun factor, replayability, um, and uh, the theme. The theme is fine. It, I mean, the theme is really well implemented as far as artwork goes, but as far as the gameplay goes, it, there's literally no theme. It's just an, a, an auction game. It could have been anything. It didn't have to be Egyptian-themed or Raw-themed or whatever. Um, so the theme is like, eh. Um, the replayability is good. Like I, I find myself saying, hey, I would love to play this with a group of people, but I feel like it's not gonna be a game that a lot of people are gonna wanna come back to. I think they'll play it maybe a couple of times and then go, oh, I'm good, I don't wanna play that game. Um, I can see the replaying, the replay value of it goes down a lot. There's nothing that makes the game different every time you play it other than the tiles that you get but those are completely random anyway so it doesn't even matter like replay value on this game is relatively low i think you'll play it a few times and then get the basic gist of it and go yeah i don't know if i'm this is like a game you'll whip out every once in a while and it's not like a party game where you can play with a lot of people it's only plays up to five so it's it just doesn't have that replay factor for me that i think i'm gonna this isn't a go-to game is it fun absolutely you'll get a lot of fun out of it for maybe a couple of months or a couple of playthroughs before you go you know i really honestly don't need this in my collection and there are a ton of other auction games that are really good that have a ton of replay value because every time you play it it's very different when you play them um but um this is just okay replay wise theme is okay um and then the fun factor it's a fun game um, but there can be some frustrating moments in the game where you're just not getting what you want and that whole luck aspect of it can be very annoying, especially if you're getting like bad chips and stuff like that and it's like the tiles are coming out and you don't need any of those tiles and then by the time it gets to your turn, people already invoke raw and take it from you. Um, and then it's, there's like this weird area where you haven't auctioned at all and then you can just continue to flip out tiles if you wait to be the last person but then if you end up pushing the game it's it's kind of weird um so i, I would give it like a one for fun factor replayability um and theme i i feel like it's like at a one so i would say the one and the two the gameplay the art and visuals is a two the gameplay is like a 1.5 so between that it's a three and then you've got another three, that's six, plus the 1.5. So it's like a 7.5 for me. I think that's relatively close to where it should be. It's somewhere between a seven and an eight. For me, it falls under the eight category um, just because it is, um, it's fun. It really is fun. But I just don't find it as a, I don't think it's a game that's gonna last in my collection very long. But it is a very, very good game. I thought it was well put together. It plays in a decent amount of time. The higher the player count, the longer it can go. It can go from like an hour to an hour and a half. It says 30 to 60 minutes on the box, maybe. But by the time that bag gets passed around the table, it was at one point where I didn't even want to use the bag. I just put the tiles in the center of the table and people would just grab from there. Um, yeah, it's, you got to set it up right too. It's kind of weird. Um, it was good, but I just don't think I'll find myself going back to it consistently enough that it'll stay in my collection for a long time. Um, but it's a great game. So 7.5 from me. Um, good game. I think it's well implemented, um, but just not one. I don't think that'll survive in my collection very long. 
But you tell me what you think of Raw. Do you enjoy the game? Do you like the chunkiness? I don't know. That's up to you guys. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out our memberships. And uh, if you have any questions about the game or any other things you want to know, please put it in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the game. I'll see you guys later. Catch you on the flippity flip. Y'all already know the dealio.